Um, if I'm Jordan Henderson, I, I don't see a problem with him going. I really don't. Like we're saying, <laughs> Jordan Henderson would have earned crazy money or, uh, most of his career at Liverpool, but got a chance of earning four times your money. Well, you said it. it's generational Generational, wealth. Um, generational um, wealth. He's got going to a club with a manager that he loves. You know, Steven Gerrard, legend of Liverpool. You can understand why he's thinking about it, mm. you know, and £600,000 a week. Like, I think he it's goes. It's mind-blowing. I think it, he will go, and I think he'll see it as maybe he's not going to be um, as involved at Liverpool. But the only problem is if he goes, he doesn't go to the Euros next summer. Well, it's interesting you say that. Let's hear from the England manager, Gareth Southgate, who was full of praise for Henderson during the World Cup back in December. This is probably the best version I've seen of him with us. His influence on the group every day with everything they're doing. You know, we're, we're fortunate. We've got four or five club captains in the, in the squad and that shares the load on keeping the standards high and the demands high, training, recovery, everything. I think he's... When we were playing against the USA, I thought we were having some tactical problems that he helped to, to solve. And the balance he's given us, as I said earlier, I think has given Jude some, some freedom. Yeah, I think he's, he's had an outstanding influence on the group. Yeah, there's no doubt about his experience, the leadership he brings to England. You said there that if he moved to Saudi Arabia, that would be it. It would be over. But Gareth Southgate has picked players who have barely played. If he's out there playing, what does it matter? <laughs> a great point um, Calvin Phillips has been picked Maguire has been picked so maybe me saying that I'm totally wrong wouldn't be the first thing I'm wrong, <laughs> wrong about it. but I just think the backlash that maybe Southgate would get um, from the media for picking a player who's chosen to go to the Saudi League you know it's not as competitive obviously as the Premier League we've seen players like Tamori do outstanding mm. or um, AC Milan still not get picked so I don't see him picking him but if he's so important to that squad, he's a leader, you know he can come in in games for England, it wouldn't surprise me if he actually did make an exception and say, you know what, if Maguire and Phillips are still getting picked, how can I not? So yeah. it's, a, it's a good point. Yeah. All right then. Well, loads of you are already calling up. I can see the phone lines are red hot this morning. <laughs> Let's get to someone who's already been busy on the phones with us this morning. It is Rio, who is a Stoke fan. Rio, good morning. How are you? Good morning, Rio. Good morning. How are you? Very well. Thank you for calling us on this Thursday morning. What do you want to say? So you, I've been listening to, obviously, the um, the discussion about the Jordan Henderson move. And I'll be quite honest, I understand, I completely understand it, his, his stage of career um, and going there. Um, and then I was listening to Shaban earlier talking about him earning £200,000 a week and he's going for a pay rise and things. And, and mm-hmm. sort of almost justifying that £200,000 a week isn't... isn't isn't, isn't already astronomical money, you know, whereas the average person earns not even that in, in four years. Mm. They're already rich people. Um, and But I, I, don't begr- I don't begrudge Jordan Anderson doing that at all. The And, and when you're getting the people like Mitrovic wanting to go at 27, he should be he should be wanting to play at the, um, at the best level he possibly can for as long as he can. Uh, I, I, I understand what you're saying, and I feel like these players... Do you want to play at the best level? But money makes the world go round. And Rio, and if if he's going to get offered that silly money, then you can't blame him going for it. I think, Rio, thank you for your call. And I can totally understand that because we do look at football and think, wow, the players at the top end already earn an astronomical oh, of amount of money. Silly so money. many of us yep. that cannot relate to it no. at all. So it does sort of make you think, well, what, how much more money does, does anyone need? But we always know the rich get but richer. Let's, but let's talk about... Anyone in any... No, that's what I mean, the rich, the rich you, gets richer. If you get offered three, four times your money, everyone's leaving their jobs. It happens uh, in yeah. all sorts of um, totally um, work. So I'm sure if Rio got offered four times his money, I'm sure he would move jobs as well. Well, Graham is a Liverpool fan. He's rung up this morning. How are you, Graham? Good morning, Graham. Okay. Morning, Natalie. Morning, Gabby. You right, okay. mate? Yes, very yeah, yeah. well. Tell us, how do you feel about the potential... Uh, miss with uh, Jordan Henderson leaving Liverpool would it would it be a big miss to the club it def- definitely be a big miss he's a Liverpool captain he did, what he did through the pandemic for the ordinary people well I think was absolutely outstanding he stood up he was a true leader for for football and the PFA not not just Liverpool 
And I think the, the point that Gabby's just raised then, it's as though I'd already spoke to Gabby about what I was going to ring about. I mean, as Gabby's just said then, the ordinary working class, Joe Bloggs on the street, goes to work every day, hopefully gets enough money to, to live and survive and keep the family. And then you get offered career development, you get more money and you move on. Totally get that, totally understand that. But you're talking about footballers that are on astronomical money. They're not ordinary people. They live in big gated houses. They've got their own CCTV, their own security. These are not ordinary people. He's got a young family there, Jordan. I would rather go to work, get, get my wages and come home and have a family life. But he's, he's, let's be honest, and Gabby said it time and time again recently on, on various shows, and I totally get what he's saying, these footballers are earning money now, not for themselves, not for their grandchildren, not for their children, not for the grandchildren, for the great-grandchildren. I could never, ever think of doing that as a working-class person. Mm, and yeah. I'm, not, I'm, I'm nothing against anybody, because I am working-class, and I think everybody has got some level of working class in with them. But not these footballers on the astronomical money. And I love football. As I said, and you said, I support Liverpool. He's my captain. But well, I, David, I, I totally agree with everything Graham, you just said. Graham. Sorry, Graham. I, I agree with everything that you just said. And I feel that some players will say, no, I don't want to go and um, live there. I don't want to move my family. Mm -hmm. My family are happy at school. My kids have got friends here. I'm earning silly money anyway. What do I need um, any more money for? Look at um, Modric. He turned down um, Saudi Arabia to stay at Real Madrid another season. So I totally hear what you're saying, but some players are the opposite and think, oh, okay, I'm 33. I'm going to get a two, three-year deal, mm -hmm. earning £600,000 a week. Some players it's hard to turn down. Yeah, great call, Graham, though. Thank yeah, you very much. Call, David man. also is a Liverpool fan. Morning to you, David. Morning, David. Good morning. How are you two? Yes, we are all right, thank you. How are you? And uh, tell us how you feel about this situation. Well, I don't want our captain to go. I think he's, he's, we're a lot better side when he plays. Uh, you can see when things when he's not starting, when, when things aren't going right, how he comes on. But he's done everything he can for us. I, I go back to the time when we wanted to, stupidly, they were going to sell him to Fulham and get a Fulham player in, and he stayed, and he fought, and he became captain, and then he lifted every piece of silver he's got. He's now 32. We used the, the, the banner in the cop says seven-tenths of the earth is covered by water, the rest is covered by Jordan Henderson. He's not, he's not like that uh, anymore. He's still brilliant, but... At 32, he's done it. I don't begrudge him. It's the 26-year-olds that have got no ambition to win any silver, no ambition to do anything in football that goal that gets me. But he's done it. I don't want him to go. But if he does, I would understand it. Yep. David, Can't thank you. That. Yep. Much uh, appreciated. A measured call from David as well. If you want to have your say, 03717-223344 is the number to call us on. You can also text us to uh, 81089. Talk Sport Breakfast, waking you up Monday to Friday morning from 6 a.m. on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.